have a plus minus because that's kind of awkward. We like to say plus a negative. And that parentheses implies that that number, the value of that number is negative. So yeah, we put them around those. Okay? We don't want to get those signs confused either. That was a good question. Did you guys hear that question? She asked, uh, why do we have to have the parentheses around like the negative 5 and the negative 2? And the answer is, yeah, you pretty much do. Because we don't want to confuse this with like a plus and a minus. Because that, that's kind of awkward right there. We want to make sure we know that that's a negative value number. And that's how what the parentheses well, what you know that, you know what you're doing? Do you want to see it when you're doing it? I want to see it, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I, I want to see everything for right now. Because we're learning this, right? <laughs> if you get to, when you, like I said, when you get to calculus, you can do this however you want. I don't care. Uh, as long as you get the right answer. But right now, if, if we're not following all these steps, a lot of people are, maybe not you, but a lot of people are going to get the wrong answer. And so that's why we're making sure we do it that way. Good questions, everybody. Now, we'll continue on. We'll go step by step from the left. So negative 6 plus negative 5. What did you get for negative 6 plus negative 5? Awesome. I'm going to rewrite the rest of that. We've got negative 11 plus negative 2 now. Again, we have the same signs. Negative 13 plus 3. That's it. Show of hands how many people got negative 10. Oh, that's fantastic. Very good. You have a problem like this on your test. This one? This one? This one? Because it's not negative. Oh. Okay, you ready? We're going to incorporate some pluses and minuses, see if we can do this stuff. We'll talk about evaluation. That'll end our day. Question? Yeah, um, it's on your syllabus. I don't know exactly. I think it's like a week from this coming Monday. Okay. The what now? We have class Monday. Which Monday? Yeah, be here. <laughs> like two Mondays, or like? This Monday or next Monday? Yeah. I don't know. What are you talking about? The class Monday. You guys are confusing me. Well, are you talking about the test or the holiday? The holiday. Okay. In four days we have a holiday. You can show up if you want to. It says twelve months or twelve to sixteen. But I'm not going to be here. <laughs> okay, good. Let's all just decide not to come, right? Forget the college, whatever, you know? And then the Monday after that, we are here. That's our test. Okay, moving on. And we get Sunday off too, isn't that awesome? Yeah. Booyah! <laughs> That's fantastic. What a great country we live in that we get Sundays off. Some countries don't get Sunday off. That's true. Do we have homework? What do you think? No. Have I changed from the Mr. Leonard from last week? I'm still not cool. Yeah, you probably will, almost guaranteed. Yeah. But that's all right, it won't be that bad. At least you have more days to do it, right? I mean, that's, a, that's awesome, I think, personally. All right, anyway, uh, we'll get back to this thing. Now, what I just told you is that we're changing minuses, but those pluses, those work for us. Those we... Are we with it today? Yeah. Okay. Um, those pluses, those work for us. Those use the addition rule, we don't want to change those. Anywhere we see minus, yes. Pluses, no, leave them. So when we look at this problem, we got 7 plus negative 12. Shoot, leave that. We don't want to change that. That's addition rule right there. I mean, we don't want to be messing with that. So we'll just rewrite that part. Leave that thing alone. But the minus 3, that we need to change. Can you all tell me what does the minus 3 change into? Just a plus? Plus negative. Plus negative. Okay, plus negative 3, that's right. So we leave these two, it already has a plus, this becomes a plus negative, and the last two, the minus, the negative 8, becomes a 
that's the one that just becomes plus eight. Okay, now we need to do addition rule from left to right. Go ahead and do that on your own. See if you can finish that on up. Uh, I'll put one more example on the board, then we'll talk about some evaluation. Oh my, I forgot this. Here. Make sure that goes around really quick. Um, is 9 1 already on top? If you get done with those and you're waiting around, what I want you to do is consider this one. I think about what we might do in this case, okay? That's a little different from anything we've had so far. all of this in your head at the same time, that's what makes it hard. Or at least it slows you down even. I know it might not seem like because you're writing a lot, but if you try to do it all in your head, it will slow you down. Okay, we're about to get started on the very first one up here. Well, finished on the first one up here. So we've already changed everything to pluses. Hopefully you were able to go from the left two by two and get these. The seven plus negative 12, we have the same sign or different signs there. So that means we're going to add or subtract. Subtract. And we'll keep the sign of the larger. So we're going to get negative five there. Did you get negative five there? Yes. So we have negative five plus negative three, that's the next two terms. When we look at those, that's addition rule, of course, that's why we change the plus, to make addition rule. And we have the same sign, we'll add them together, keep the common sign, you get negative eight. Oh my, what's negative eight plus eight? Zero. zero. Sure. Addition rule still works though. Different signs, you subtract, you get zero. Sign of a bigger number, there is no bigger number. It's zero. Okay, next up, again, I'm going to change all the minus signs. So hopefully on your paper you have the negative 4, that will stay the same. Can you please tell me what the minus negative changes to? Plus. plus. Just a plus. Or is it plus negative? Plus. plus. Very good. Plus 3. Two signs to one sign. Plus 12. Ah, don't change those pluses. Those are nice. That's what we want. You changed it? Yeah. Why? I don't know. I just figured that you changed it to a thing. Into a plus, negative 12. Wherever you see a plus, do not change it, ever. Those pluses are what we want. That's the, I'm, I'm glad you brought that up, because we don't want to be doing that, right? If you already have the plus, stick with the plus. Now this one, the minus negative 7. If you get minus negative 7, that changes everybody to a? Plus 7. Yeah, not plus negative 7, two signs to one sign. And then we're going to have minus 20 changes to? Plus Perfect. That's where we do that one. And we'll put parentheses around that one to show that that's a negative value. So when we go on this, uh, on this problem, we'll get these first two, 
We'll get what out of negative four plus three, folks? I like to rewrite them to reevaluate what I have up here. I've got negative one plus twelve. How much is negative one plus twelve? Positive? Next two are kind of nice. Positive numbers. Eleven plus seven, we get. And lastly, we have 18 plus negative 20. Different signs there. We'll subtract. We'll keep the sign of the bigger number, and we will get. So yeah, it's a lot of steps. One, let's see, one, two, three, five steps. Are any of them individually that hard? Not if you know the rules. Not if you know how to change minuses to pluses and can do addition rules. So as long as we stick step by step, we'll be okay on this stuff. Now, last few things I need to show you. Firstly, I wanted you to consider this problem that I wrote on the board over here. Uh, now, of course, this is already written like we like it, right? Plus negative. We don't want to change that at all. But I want you to look over here where we, I have two negatives put together. There's no, it's not being subtracted. It's negative, negative 8. Or in other words, like I told you before, the opposite of negative 8. Can you tell me what is the opposite of negative 8? Eight. So what you can do with this problem, whenever you see a negative negative, it's asking you for the opposite of negative 8. Make it a positive. You just told me the opposite of negative 8 was 8. That's what we're talking about. And then you can go on doing this problem. So whenever you have those two negatives next to each other, not only, hope you're listening right now, not only does it change a minus negative to a plus, but if you have the two negatives, it changes it to a positive. And we're going to discover more about that when we get to multiplication in the very next section. Now we can use our addition rules. Of course, different signs will subtract, sign of the bigger number, all that stuff, and we'll get five. Okay, one last example I'll leave you with. Uh, we can also evaluate using this stuff. So 3y minus z, where y equals 9 and z equals negative 4. Now, again, I've asked you this several times. Hopefully you know. What does evaluate mean? Very good. Substitute variables into the numbers and then? Yep. I like to say we, we, we're not finding a solution because there's no equation. We can't solve it, therefore. So we manipulate it until we get one digit, a uh, single answer, a single numerical value. That's what we're doing. So we're going to go, okay, if it's 3y minus z, can you please tell me what I need to write up here? Three times nine. Great, I heard 3 times 9. And then what? Okay, I'd like you to watch on the board here real quick. What a lot of people do, if they make a mistake on this problem, if, what they'll do is go, oh, I've got 3 times 9, that's the easy part, everyone's going to get that right. But I will have some people, if they're not paying attention, do this. Do you see how easy that would be to do? Because they, they see the, ne the minus, they see the negative 4, but they think, oh, it's already there. I don't need to put it again. That's not what evaluation says to do. What evaluation says to do is plug things in to the equation exactly like it is before you start doing any math. So the 3 stays the same. The y becomes a 9, but the minus, that stays there. And the z becomes negative 4. All by itself, negative 4, like that. So you, you can't change the, the equation or the signs of the equations. All you can do is plug in the numbers that they give you. After that, we see we have the same signs. We'll do 3 times 9 plus 4. That'll be 27 plus 4, or we'll get, that's it, 31. <laughs> Would you raise your hand if today made sense for you? We're able to do this stuff. Good for you. That's fantastic. <laughs>